By linking remote patients with expert medical care via satellite, telemedicine is revolutionizing how the isolated, the poor, and the disadvantaged are medically treated. Telemedicine is simply the use of electronic communication and information technologies for the delivery of medical care when distance separates the participants. A mobile telemedicine unit can bring advanced medical facilities to those patients who are too remote, too sick, or too poor to get to a local hospital. One hospital that has actively worked to bridge the gap between the rural sick and advanced medical care is the Amrita Institute of Medical Science, or AIMS, located in the southwest Indian state of Kerala. AIMS is an 800-bed medical facility established in 1998 that serves a population of several million and treats over 400,000 patients a year. And, because of the telemedicine van that AIMS now operates, the hospital is able to cover an area drastically larger and can care for a significantly greater number of people than they could before. In the last two years alone, the telemedicine van has been able to care for more than 40,000 patients all over South India. Uh, like Chikungunya was a major epidemic catastrophe in the southern part of India, especially in the state of Kerala, uh, where vector-borne disease affected millions of people. So the people who were supposed to be having the symptoms of Chikungunya were segregated into one group in each pockets. Okay. So the van used to go and do the test and go to the next center. So the time was utilized in a much effective manner. Their telemedicine program started after the massive South Asian tsunami that hit the South Indian coast in December of 2005. Although the Ames hospital facilities were damaged by the tsunami's waves, it didn't prevent the Ames staff from immediately acting to care for the countless people that were injured or affected by the tsunami. They set up and ran refugee camps, provided free health care with their own doctors and staff, and initiated outreach programs of all kinds. But a major challenge remained, how to provide high-quality health care to people that couldn't reach the hospital. Ames determined that a telemedicine van could reach those left-out patients. They applied to Direct Relief International for a cash grant to build and equip the van, and by early 2006, it was up and running. For the first time, India had a fully equipped, state-of-the-art, mobile medical unit able to travel to disaster sites and remote areas to provide high-quality services to people with the greatest need, while still remaining in constant communication with the base hospital. All the equipment in and on the van, including the satellite dish donated by the Indian Space Research Organization, allows the doctors to provide services such as blood biochemistry tests, x-rays, ECGs, ultrasonography, teledermatology, teleradiology, and even telepsychiatry. And just recently, the telemedicine services provided by the van took a giant leap forward by successfully providing the first teleendoscopy procedures in a mobile unit in South Asia. Ames Telemedicine Van has become the model for the next generation of telemedicine around the world. And now, Direct Relief is working with yet another partner in India to create one more telemedicine program. One more way, Direct Relief is helping to bring charitable health care to those that need it most. Matt McCullough, Direct Relief International.